In the age of drones and precision strikes, naval defense is undergoing a profound transformation. The Italian Navy, long regarded as a model of balanced modernization, is now turning its attention to a new frontier, integrating the Skynex air defense system at sea. This marks the beginning of what many analysts are calling Italy's Sea Shield, a layered, automated, and cost-effective defense architecture that could reshape NATO's southern maritime strategy. The threat environment has changed, cruise missiles, UAV swarms, and low-flying munitions are eroding the effectiveness of traditional shipborne defenses. While long-range interceptors like the Aster 30 or SM2 remain vital, they are too expensive and too few to counter mass attacks of cheap drones or loitering munitions. What navies now need is a reliable, close-range system, something fast, automated, and inexpensive enough to fire continuously. Italy's answer is Skynex. The story of Skynex begins with the evolution of short-range air defense systems. During the 1980s, the Italian military operated the Skyguard and Orlikon GDF twin guns for base protection. These systems were semi-automatic and relied on radar-guided fire control. In the 2000s, the Sky Shield followed, bringing digital sensors and modularity. Then came the leap, Skynex, designed by Rheinmetall Italia as a fully networked, AI-assisted defense solution. It is modular, autonomous, and scalable, capable of linking sensors, effectors, and command centers across a shared digital backbone. At its core, Skynex relies on the Revolver Gun Mark III, a 35mm weapon capable of firing 1,000 rounds per minute. Its primary ammunition, the A-head round, is programmable. Each shell releases a cloud of tungsten sub-projectiles that shred drones, rockets, and missiles in midair. Skynex's architecture allows for distributed deployment. A radar can be miles away from the gun connected via secure data links. The result is an ecosystem rather than a single platform. Radar, electro-optical sensors, and gun turrets all communicating in real time, coordinated by the Skymaster C4I system. This modular approach makes Skynex a natural candidate for naval adaptation. The concept of Skynex naval is now being explored by Rheinmetall Italia and Leonardo, two pillars of Italy's defense industry. The idea is simple but revolutionary. Bring Skynex's automated fire control and networked command architecture to sea, where it could serve as the inner layer of defense aboard Italian frigates and patrol vessels. The proposed naval variant would use the same 35mm gun system, adapted for shipboard stabilization and corrosion protection integrated with Leonardo's Kronos Grand Naval ESA radar and the Athena combat management system used on FREM, EVO, and PPA-class ships. The logic behind this integration is clear. Current shipborne close-in weapon systems such as Phalanx or Millennium Gun are effective, but they are closed systems, limited in sensor connectivity and unable to share real-time tracking data. Skynex changes that dynamic. It transforms the ship's defense from a reactive point system into a distributed network. A single radar node could coordinate multiple turrets across different vessels or shore positions, forming a digital dome of protection. On modern Italian warships, this would fit neatly into an existing layered defense structure. The outer layer consists of Aster 30 and Tessio Mark II E missiles providing long-range intercept capability. The middle layer uses CAM-ER and Aster-15, defending against incoming missiles and aircraft at medium range. The new inner layer, the Skynex naval system, would deal with threats that slip through like small drones, sea-skimming missiles, or rockets. In essence, Skynex would fill the same tactical niche as the Phalanx, but with greater autonomy and lower operational cost. This integration effort has also become a showcase of Italy's industrial self-sufficiency. 
Rheinmetall Italia develops the gun and C2 backbone, while Leonardo contributes the radar, fire control, and electro-optical suites. The partnership aims to produce a system fully compatible with Italy's future DDX-class destroyers, now in design for the 2030s. These warships will feature dual-band ASA radars, digital combat management systems, and integrated electronic warfare suites. By merging these capabilities, Italy could field Europe's first fully indigenous, multi-layer naval air defense network. Beyond technology, the strategic implications are significant. The Mediterranean has re-emerged as one of the most contested regions in the world, from the drone attacks launched by Houthi forces in the Red Sea to Russian and Iranian UAVs in Syria and Libya. Italy's naval forces, frequently deployed in these waters, are exposed to low-altitude threats on a daily basis. Skynex Naval offers a solution that is mobile, modular, and suited for continuous maritime operations. It can protect not only the fleet, but also coastal infrastructure, amphibious landing zones, and naval bases. The system also fits perfectly into NATO's broader vision. Germany has already adopted Skynex for its ground forces. Italy's naval adoption would bring a dual-domain synergy. Land-based and sea-based Skynex batteries sharing data and doctrine within NATO's integrated air defense framework. This interoperability could pave the way for a common European short-range defense standard, a European CIWS that reduces dependence on American systems. Operationally, Skynex Naval's appeal lies in its efficiency. Missiles are expensive, guns are cheap. A single ahead round costs a few hundred euros, while a surface-to-air missile can cost several hundred thousand. The ability to sustain continuous fire against a swarm attack without depleting resources is precisely what future naval warfare demands. In the drone era, volume of fire matters as much as accuracy. By 2026, the first Italian Army Skynex batteries are expected to enter service. Once fielded, they will serve as testbeds for future naval adaptation. If the trials confirm expected performance, integration onto ships could begin near the end of the decade, possibly debuting on the PPA Light Plus variant or Frem Evo frigates before transitioning to the DDX class. This trajectory aligns with Italy's long-term defense strategy, self-reliance, modularity, and layered deterrence. The same philosophy that produced the Frem frigates and the CAM-ER missile now guides the birth of a digital, automated CIWS for the next generation of European warships. The potential export market is equally promising. Countries like Greece, Croatia, and Egypt could adopt the same architecture for their own coastal and naval defense networks. In the bigger picture, Skynex represents a shift in naval thought. Instead of relying solely on high-end missiles, navies are rediscovering the value of gun-based systems, updated with 21st century sensors and AI fire control. Italy, with its combination of industrial capability and operational experience, is positioned to lead that transformation. From the cold logic of defense economics to the heat of modern drone warfare, the message is the same. Survival at sea now depends on layers, not luxuries. Skynex is not a replacement for Aster or CAM. R, it is their complement, the shield within the shield. As Italy continues to modernize its navy toward 2035, the integration of Skynex marks a defining step. The system embodies the new naval paradigm, networked, autonomous, and affordable. With it, Italian ships will not merely defend themselves, but stand as mobile bastions of NATO's southern air defense. From Taranto to the Red Sea, from the Adriatic to the Indo-Pacific, the sea shield is taking shape, and it speaks Italian.